Hey guys, today's video is going to be my brief little beauty haul. It's mostly skincare with a couple of makeup products and two hair products. So, let's get started. First thing, I've got two of these. Yes, two. Two of the RCMA No Color Powders. They're both in the three ounce size, three ounce bottle. This thing is actually really hard to get in the UK. I used to be able to get it from lovemakeup.com, but it's constantly out of stock. So I had to seek elsewhere. And one website I found was gurumakeup.co.uk. Thing is, they sell it for much more expensive than lovemakeup.com does. And the shipping is like four or five pounds or something. So these two things came out to be quite expensive and definitely a lot more expensive than if you could get it in America. Luckily, I recently found out that Beauty Bay has it now. Beauty Bay has the RCMA products now. And and they're selling it at the same price as Love Makeup, which is £10.50. It's much more reasonable, and that's where I'll be getting this no color powder from now on. But I have two whole bottles of this powder, it's not gonna run out anytime soon, so. Next place, Space and K. I made two Space and K orders and I got four parcels because one of my orders was divided into three. They didn't have everything in stock. But then again, the three parcels came like within four days. Let's start off with something else I've repurchased, which is this. It's the Kevin O'Quan Sculpting Powder in Light. If you've seen my Get Ready With Me video, you've seen how much I've used of my uh, Kevin one sculpting powder and light. It's a goner. So, I've repurchased that. It's my favorite sculpting powder. I use it every day. The contour, my nose and my cheeks and everywhere on my face that needs contouring, which is pretty much everywhere. The next things are from NARS. As you know, I'm a huge fan of NARS. Basically, whatever they come out with, if the colors I like, I'll get it. I got two of these new matte lip pencils from NARS. And those are the colors. I got this one. I'm not sure if you can see, it's actually a very, very dark navy blue. Inside looks like this, which is practically black, but that's okay because, well, actually, it looks black on the lips as well. Oh, I'm not so sure about that. But I can't return it because it's the United Kingdom. We don't do returns once you've used the product. You lucky Americans. You lucky Americans. This color is called Unspoken and it's practically black. Next color. Mm. You know this one. You know I was gonna get it. It's purple. And it's called Pussy Control. Excuse you. Excuse you, say. Don't you just love the names Nas comes out with? It's called Pussy Control. It's a dusty. It's just purple. It's a dusty, lilac y purple color. It's actually darker on the lips than it looks on the packaging. It's not nearly as, I suppose, difficult to wear as you would imagine. If you want to see swatches, I'll take photos of the swatches. I'm not gonna swatch it right now because this camera is actually not very good at showing colors. It doesn't show things very true to color. The next thing I got is also a repurchase. I've just realized how many repurchase products. I have in this haul. Tell me if you want to see products I've repurchased video because I have so many repurchased products. I'm just the type of person who doesn't want to try anything new. I just keep repurchasing the stuff I know I love. I'm just generally a very boring person with uh, especially skincare. The next product is this. It's the Quarterly Makeup Removing Cleansing Oil. It's 100 ml, 18 pounds, very affordable for high-end skincare, which is why I keep repurchasing this thing. It's my second bottle. I know how it works. It works just fine. It's not groundbreaking, amazing, but it's good. And that's why I repurchased it. Next thing is something I don't usually get. Over the years, I've become a person who doesn't buy expensive mud masks. I know the ingredients, kaolin, bentonite, they're very, very cheap, they're just dirt. I don't feel it's necessary for me to spend 40 pounds on dirt. 
you know. But I just did. I got this. It's from Wei. It's quite famous in Asia. It's the Wei Golden Root Purifying Mud Mask. And it comes in eight little pots. And this brush over here, I've not used it. I do have high expectations because I'm normally the kind of person who spends like three pounds on mud masks. And now I've spent 34 pounds on this thing. High hopes. Yeah, I have high hopes for this. Hope it works. I hope it works better than my £3 Neutrogena mud mask, which is my cleansing mask of choice at the moment. So that's that. And because I play so many orders, I also got a significant number of samples. The first is the biggest one. It's from New Face. That's the first sample I got. It's called Prep and Glow. It's obviously an exfoliant pad. And next, we've got Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Vita Peel Extra strength. I don't know what the extra strength is gonna do besides being an exfoliant. Next we have another sample. It's from Kat Berkey called Vitamin C Intensive Face Cream. So it's a face cream. Whatever. What is this? What is this? What is this? I don't know what this is. It's sizzly anti-age day and night what? For what? Is it a cream? It looks like it's a cream. I don't know, I'm not sure. This is this. Next, we've got another product, another thing from Way. It's the Way Brightening Five Sacred Grains Perfect Radiance Pudding Cream. Pudding cream. Well, it sounds as if this is going to be a rice pudding kind of thing. You know, five grain and pudding cream. Next thing from NARS is this. NARS skincare. I've never tried. I think this is the optimal brightening concentrate. Next thing is from, I'm not sure how to pronounce this, Natura Bise? Natura Bise? Natura Bise? I know it's, it's a Spanish brand, but I don't speak Spanish, so. It's called the Essential Shock Intense Retinol Fluid. Retinol. 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 And the next thing, because it was my birthday when I placed my second order, Basin K gave me this. Focus. It's the Caudalie Vinyl Source Moisturizing Sorbet. So it's a moisturizer. 10 mils, pretty good. Don't really have any thoughts on it. So those are all of the samples I got from two Space and K orders. Way to go, Space and K. Next thing I got is sort of a repurchase, but it's not really. It's not the one I used to buy. It's this. It's the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser for normal to dry skin. I say it's a repurchase, but it's not the one I used to get because the one I used to get was the foaming cleanser from CeraVe, which is the exact same packaging except for this part. Now it's grass green and that one is light teal color. The reason I didn't get the foaming one was because, well, I get my CeraVe products from Amazon. I've bought two foaming cleansers already from Amazon. And I remember the foaming cleanser being 12 or 14 pounds. But this time, when I went on the Amazon website, which was about a week ago, the foaming cleanser was 21 pounds. Huh? I mean, 21 pounds is not terrible for this amount, which is 355 milliliters. That's a lot of product, but I'm not gonna spend 21 pounds on something I used to get for 12. Excuse me, 21 pounds? No. But I saw this, and this one was 14 pounds. I'm just so confused. I don't understand why there's a difference between the hydrating one and the foaming one. And it's such a huge difference. It doesn't make any sense. I'm sorry. Excuse me. It doesn't make any sense. As frugal as I am with all of these purchases, of course I'm gonna get the 14 pound hydrating cleanser and not the 21 pound foaming cleanser. It doesn't make any sense that something used to be 12 pounds and now it's 21. The next thing, to be honest I'm not sure why I bought it. Maybe it's just because it looked sleek and nice and white and stuff, you know. It's a hand cream. To justify this purchase, I want to say that I'm running out of hand cream, but that's not true because I'm only like three quarters of the way through. It's actually not running out anytime soon, but I still, I still, still got this. This is from Alpha H. This is called the Age Delay Hand and Cuticle Cream. It's 100 
mils. That, that's pretty big for a hand cream. This brand is known for their glycolic acid. It's called the liquid gold, but glycolic acid isn't my acid of choice. I prefer salicylic. So this is my first product from LFRH. Yes. Have not used this. Have not opened this because my hand cream is still plenty in this bottle. And that's all the skincare and makeup. We are down to the hair products, which isn't very exciting, actually. The first thing, got this from Superdrug. Both of the hair products are from Superdrug. This is the Colap Dry Shampoo. It's their new limited edition fragrance. This fragrance is called Paradise. This is actually a repurchase as well. All of my products are repurchases, so... <laughs> Just a very boring person. What can I do? Anyways, this is the Colab dry shampoo. They have two versions of the dry shampoo. One of which is invisible, absorbs oil pretty well for normal hair. And another one, which is stronger and has a slight residue. I've not used that one because my hair is not particularly oily or anything. It doesn't need strong absorption. This is the one I usually go for. I've used it already. But to be honest, I'm slightly disappointed at the fragrance. It doesn't really smell like paradise to me. But then again, it's got flamingos in the bottle. Oh, so cute. I have to buy it. Let's smell this. Yeah, it's just normal. It's nothing out of this world. Let me tell you something. I've used every single fragrance from the Colab dry shampoo line. And my favorite was the limited edition two years ago, and it's called Monaco. The normal packaging of this is silver with different colored tops. The Monaco fragrance was in a blue top. It smells like Tom Ford fragrance. It was so lush. It was so good. That one smelled like one of Tom Ford's Portofinos. This one's just, it smells complex. It definitely doesn't smell like your tip hair product. It smells like, I don't know, a well-designed perfume, but it's just not my favorite. In the normal range, my favorite fragrance is the tropical one, which is the green one. It smells so fruity. It's so good. I love it. Yeah, that's the dry shampoo. And the next thing I got from Superdrug. It's sort of an unplanned purchase. I wouldn't call it an impulse purchase, or impulse buy, because it's really, really cheap. I saw the packaging, had to get it. It's this. It's the Garnier Ultimate Blend Conditioner. The Intense Repairer with Maple Healer, Castor Oil and Maple Sap. This is designed for very damaged hair, which I don't really have. And the only reason I bought it is because I saw the maple on it. I don't know about you, but when I see something with maple on it, my first reaction is maple bacon. So, the reason I bought this conditioner is because I thought it was going to smell like maple bacon. But apparently I was wrong, because it doesn't say anything about bacon on it. It's maple, just maple. I should have known. Let me smell it. No, it doesn't smell like bacon. It's so sad. It doesn't smell like bacon. To be honest, it doesn't really smell like maple either. It just smells sweet. Like all the other Garnier Ultimate Blend products, the fragrance is just artificially sweet. It doesn't smell bad. It just, you know it's not real maple. You know it's not real maple, so it's nothing groundbreaking. It doesn't smell like bacon, so it's not groundbreaking. I guess then I'd have to cook my own bacon using my conditioner. Actually, leave a comment down below if you know any, any, any conditioners or shampoos or, or any sort of hair product that smells like bacon because I need it in my life. I don't know why I thought it was gonna smell like maple bacon. Maybe it's just because I wanted to eat bacon when I was shopping. The things I do. That's all the products I've purchased recently. So, I'm going to wrap up this video and leave you be. I hope my strangeness when I'm speaking English doesn't bother you because it's gonna happen a lot. This and this are not the only accents I could do. I'm just gonna leave a sort of suspense there. If you want to know what other accents I could do, just keep watching my videos. Maybe you'll find out someday. Hi! No. No. No, 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 no. Not gonna do that to you. So that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you are not unsubscribing because I'm talking like this. Because I talk like this all the time. No, that's not true, but uh, I do occasionally do this. Well, whatever. That's enough of me for this video. Bye-bye. Arr. So sad.
There's nothing I could do.